Hello friends, this is Basil and welcome back to another episode of my Let's Play Banjo-Kazooie series. In the last episode, I played uh, Mumble's Mountain. Ooh, that, that world right there, buddy. And this time, I'll be playing Treasure Trove Cove, which will be a pirate-themed, beach-themed world. First of all, let's get through this new door right here. Ooh. Note doors I mentioned in the last episode. Uh, we need notes in order to get through different parts of the fortress. Oh, I said fortress again. I meant Frontilla's lair. But yeah, uh, we collected a hundred in, in the first world. There's a hundred in each world. And according to this uh, note door right here, I'll need uh, 50 notes in order to get through. Yes, yes. Oh, yes. The explanation I gave was enough uh, bottles. Oh, and here Banjo's uh, victory dance. Alright, a few things we need to do here before we get to the next world. First, uh, I'd like to point out that um, Gruntola makes uh, all sorts of insults and jokes throughout throughout the whole adventure uh, in her lair, which can be used against her later in the game. Along with that, uh... Oh! A character! A new character! Oh, Brentilda! Oh, she looks, uh... Oh, wait, no wonder she looks familiar. Brentilda's sister! So, uh, this is Brentilda. Brentilda's nicer sister. Who, uh, tells you all sorts of secrets and information about her sister, which can be used against her later in the game. A fiery fate, huh? Oh, seems seems like uh, she knows something that we don't know. Oh, Grunty brushes her rotten teeth with tuna ice cream flavored toothpaste. Whoa. I could have sworn it was something else before. She also washes her hair with rancid milk. Yuck! And she gets her clothes from Saggy Maggie's uh, boutique. Could have sworn it something else as well. Oh well, I guess the lines are different each uh, each time you play the game. Yes. No. Why would you uh, remove puzzle pieces? Especially when this is only the second world. Oh. Treasure Trove Cove. Oh. Alright, so we open the second world. There's something else that needs to be done. Oh yes, the cauldrons. Can't forget about these fellas. That's pretty much what the cauldrons are. You find two cauldrons of the same color and you'll be able to teleport from one cauldron to the next. Pretty useful for transportation. Saves you a whole lot of trouble. Trawling throughout the lair. Whoa. Uh, magic cauldron, you find to the same color. Well, his explanation was a lot more simpler than a bottle's explanation. Oh, we can't use that yet. We'll learn that very soon. Very useful skill for throughout the rest of the game. Let's see. I believe the top part is for the third world, which we'll go to that later. Let's, uh, let's uh, explore right here first. Oh. Mumbo token right here. Take this guy out. Here's another magic cauldron right here. There's something up here. I swear I saw her. I swear I saw something. That's not. 
Did I just hear a Jinjo? Huh. It's not. It's another note door here, but won't be going there. Whoa. Won't be going there just yet. Are you serious? Whoa. He caught me. Won't be going there just yet. That leads to another part, uh, another puzzle board for uh, the last world. So we won't have to go. We won't have to go there yet. We won't have to go there yet either. Oh. Take this guy out. Oh, what the hell? I missed it again. Oh. My aim is bad today, folks. Oh. Feathers used for flying. We'll be able to get that later. Oh, that only has a honeycomb hive and a cannon, which will be used for later. Let's go to the second world. All right. Ahoy there, matey! Welcome to Treasure Show Cove. I actually like this world. Not so bad. Not so bad at all. Uh, I'll keep that just in case for uh, later. Uh, here's a part that I hate. It's all about the water levels. I position this real quick. I gotta get that thing real quick before that guy gets me. Shark food. Water. Yeah, that shark is going to be a bother. Different parts of the game, especially in this world. Let's see. We're getting something right here. Oh! Here's another mini boss, just like uh, Kunga from um, the first world. Oh. Uh, what the hell? Calm down, fella. Huh, I'll use that for later. I need it. It's pretty much a... Kazooie pissed uh, this uh, shellfish off. Oh. He was gonna attack me. Oh, calm down, Paul. I know you're excited, but uh, calm down, Paul. Got him! Gotta give one more hit, just like Kunga. A little bit... somewhat more easier since we're not really aiming anything. Can be difficult at times. Annoying. Oh, he got me. Take that big mouth bird. But even though it was Banjo got hurt. Not Kazooie. I'll heal with this. Something behind here that I need to get. Bumble token, oh wow, the shark didn't come this time. We go in here to get our prize. Alright. Double K O. And here's our prize. Oh, I missed it. What the heck? Come down, fella. Alright. Yeah. Alright. Let's do this. Sorry about that. Alright. Let's see. And, uh, hmm, we're back outside in the beach. Can't use that yet. Go up this tree. So, yeah, there's multiple places we can go in this world. So much to do, so little time. Apologies if this ends up being in multiple parts. 
this uh, playthrough of this world, I mean. Oh, whoa, whoa, calm down. Might end up in uh, two parts because of what happened uh, to getting here, I mean. This world is definitely bigger than uh, the first world. Gotta get the notes. You would not want to die in this world, or any world, as a matter of fact. I definitely hate to do this a little- Whoa, what the heck? That guy. Whoa, get out of the way, man. Calm down, fella. Uh, can he get up here? Oh, he already lost sight of me. And this is where we'll be learning how to fly, which will be later. Right now, I'll be getting... Checks off piece from this fellow over here, Captain Blubber. I need to do a favor for him. We get his treasure back. Yes, go find her, you flap... Flapping Blubber guts. He's a hippo and he can't swim. Oh. Alright, buddy. Uh, that's a legit excuse right there. Alright, I guess we'll go here first. So we gotta get two pieces of Captain Blubber's uh, treasure. First, let's get these notes. Oh, I missed one. Oh, not good. I hate water levels. Alright. Oh. Nope. Alright. I see the other treasure chest, or not treasure chest, but treasure. Ahoy there, matey! I be a Blubber's a treasure! Alright then, uh, calm down, buddy. Alright. We got one piece of the treasure, now we got the second piece of the treasure. Should be right here. Oh, I gave one already. Yeah, that'd be uh, half me, uh, matey treasure. Excuse my uh, pirate talk, it's kind of poor, but oh well. Let's get the mumbo token. Nice. Gotta save up those mumbo tokens for later in the game. There's the other treasure piece. Our real treasure will. About to get it real soon. Let's see. Whoa, calm down. Alright. And here's your bell. There we go. Me treasure. Take this reward. And Calm down, fella. And we got another jigsaw piece. Alright. Let's see. Hmm. Guess I might as well learn how to fly right here. Oh. Oh, what the hell? Oh, I need to learn fly in order to get that. But first, uh, there's something up here. Nice. Another Jinjo. Alright. Let's learn our first skill here. This is your big, uh, chance, chicken legs! Nice! We'll be able to learn to fly. With, uh, some sort of limitations. Apparently you need feathers in to fly. 25 feathers? Really? Whoa. The limit is, uh, 50, I believe. Alright. Very useful skill. I'm gonna be using this a lot. Maybe not in this game as much, but second game we will. Only carry 50 of them. Fortunately, yes, only 50 feathers can be carried. Oh wow, actually, I think we could have gotten that mumbo token without flying. Oh well. Well, we'll be flying that much right now. Stop. There. 
All right, let's uh, let's collect the rest of the stuff that's around here. Let's see. Uh, but don't fly. Oh, okay, I don't fly. All right, we'll come back for that flying pad later. Let's collect some of the notes and uh, other good stuff that's around here. Oh, I hate this part. Uh. Actually, this is the little sand castle that we can use for um, cheat codes and stuff, but I don't think I'll be using much cheat codes for this game. Maybe for doubling the items and health, but not for... Um, there's other different cheats. You can increase your size of Banjo's limbs and stuff. Not really that useful. Just for looks. Alright, we'll learn our second and final skill in this world. Oh, of course your legs are tired. Whoa, turkey. Blah blah blah. Yes, we learn all the skills. Pretty useful skill. Oh yeah! A jump boost, pretty much. Pretty useful. Well, I guess we we'll might as well get rid of this guy right here. Me leaky, no good for water. Can bear block a hole with pebble? Oof. Pebble. Oops, wrong skill. There we go. So apparently, eggs are pebbles. And they patch up a, a hole, apparently. Whoa. Whoa. I was worried about that. I thought my game froze or something. Oh. Alright. Let's see. Got the notes here. Oh, here's the Easter egg. Well, kind of. It? No, I can't see it from here. But it uh, apparently says uh, Shark Food Island. Apparently there's been a lot of rumors and all sorts of jokes and... Uh, I don't know how to say it. I guess rumors. Fake rumors that said that if you go near it, do something, blah blah blah, it opens up a new world or, or something. Which it hints on the sequel of, of Banjo-Kazooie. Of course, none of that was true, but there was an Easter egg referencing, referencing um, the jokes and rumors in the sequel, though. All right. I got, oh, what the hell? Really? You gotta swim for that? Come on, Banjo. Where's your legs, buddy? All right. I forgot what the the guy said, but. He says something, I forgot what it was. What was it, secret? I forgot. Let me check. Okay, no it's not. Huh? Hmm. I forgot what he said. Oh, am I supposed to spell out my name? Oh, I guess I am. It was pretty obvious right there. Banjo, and then where's the K? K, 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 where are you, K? Mr. K! Are you serious? Oh, what the hell? <laughs> Where's the other A? There's no. N oh, here. Calm down, fella! Uh, gotta find a Z now. No Z? Really? Give you a time limit. I don't remember when I first did this. I was freaked out. I was like, "No, we're almost done." But it's pretty easy. All right, the gate opens to reveal your prize. But first, I'll cut you down to size. Oh, looks like this is a whoa, Gruntilda infested or in possessed crab. 
Really easy enemy. Double HP of the regular traps. We got our puzzle piece. Fairly easy one. We'll probably come back here. Probably at the end game. To get double eggs, double feathers, and stuff like that. I believe double health? No. No way, actually no. Not double health. That's somewhere else in the game. Uh, that's later in the game. Uh, sorry about that, folks. I'm uh, confused with something else. Well, I don't need any of that. Let's see. Anything uh, useful here? Oh, nothing here as well. A little island will be used for something else. Let me get rid of these guys. I hate these guys right here. Uh, where's the other one? Oh, there we go. Let's see. Hate these enemies right here. Damn. Oh, I hate these guys as well. It's, it's pretty much uh, it's like passive enemies. They don't attack you, but they can hurt you if you. Oh, hesitation. So you, you have to get inside of them, get the treasures they're holding. We gotta car be careful because of their teeth. Oh, like that. <laughs> it hurts you. Come down. You see anything useful in here? Red feathers. Let's ignore that for now. What's up here? More red feathers. Don't need any of that yet. Oh man. Hate this part. This is where uh, we might have to jump. For uh, for the the leaves are. Empty honeycomb piece? Oh wait, actually no, it's not this part. I'm actually way, way behind. Oh! There's another uh, jigsaw piece. Hmm. 